Well, here we are, the beginning of May, May 3rd, I believe it is, Sunday, May 3rd. So we're out here, we're gonna do a real quick assessment of a couple of hives. I don't know if I'll go through all of them or not, but uh, basically what I'm looking at is, uh, I wanna see how much brood, cat brood is actually built up. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, to get, uh, oh, a good three, three or more frames in each hive built up with cat brood. And then my thought process is that uh, I wanna start making some splits but we don't have the drones necessary to actually start uh, rearing our own queens. And uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and buy some queens, enough to make a few splits, let those built up. And then later, uh, as, as we get later into the season, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start doing my own queen rearing from there. So I want to kind of get in the best of both worlds, hopefully, at least. And uh, so far, they, the, the hives have been really, really good. Been very happy. Um, so we've been we've been getting them, giving them a little bit of feed, uh, sugar water. We got an open feeder down there with a couple of old frames of honey that came out of a dead out last winter, letting them kind of pick and chew with all that stuff. And uh, show you something else I got going on. So we had one grapevine here in Old Concord. I'm digging that up, and I want to put in a, an entire trellis system here. I'm going to put in two rows. I've got two different types of grapes coming. I'm going to put f uh, five vines of each in each of these rows, but uh, not really bee-related. Uh, grapes don't need bees to pollinate. They're self-pollinators, but a uh, little, little side project I got going on. Got another apple tree coming as well. But uh, anyways, I digress. Let's, let's get into it. So what we're hoping for is three, three or more frames of good cat brood, and then, of course, some other frames with... Uh, with the other stages of development. But, yeah, they're chewing right through that pollen. Probably should have brought more of that with me. Alright, let's see what we got here. Yeah, they're chewing right through that pollen. It's been two weeks, so we're gonna go ahead and take this apivar treatment out as well. Take that out. And I remember right last time the brood started on the third frame. Let's see what we got here. Oops. Ah. You really want to do that? So this one, we got a lot, a lot of pollen. I don't know if you can see. I don't see any other eggs or anything like that. But we have an enormous amount of pollen. camera set up correctly so we get a lot of we have a lot of pollen other state uh, and other uh, looks like the sugar that they've been bringing in so let's go ahead and set that down got just enough wind here to make it uh, look at the pollen here oh we got a bunch of drone cells too so got all kinds of development here you can see all the drone cells and uh, other developments. So that's that's a good sign. I didn't think we'd have this many drones out that quick. That's that's a really good sign. We got other development on this end. So I'm gonna put that right back in because it's still it's 60 degrees, but I uh, I, want, I don't want that brood to get chilled. So I just want to take a quick quick peek. Get in, get out. Oh, look at this. Look at this. Uh, all this cat brood, all that, all that dark stuff, it's all cat brood. And uh, the pound in the pollen in here. Same thing on this end. So we get all this. It's looking really, really good. So there's one frame. I'm shooting for three. Three or more. Here's two. Again, see all this cat brood here. You got other stages that queen's been laying on the outside. That's almost packed right full of other development. Same thing on this end. She filled out and then she went on the outside. So there's two. If I have at least one more, I'll be happy. So I'm basically gonna take one, one frame of each, put it in the split, put another 
with other development, other frame with other development, and the other ones will be, oh, I got a queen cell, but nothing's in it. So you can see that queen cell right here. Nothing in it. I don't think, let me take it out. No, nothing is in it, nothing I can see. And again, we get, we get brood and other stages of development and brood. So we have our three that we're looking for. But we've also got that, that capped, that, that uh, cup. It's not, there's nothing in it yet, but we want to take a look at that. And uh, here, we're back down to honey, pollen, and that's about it on this end. Lots and lots of pollen over here. So this would be a prime candidate for one of the uh, splits for food. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna be we're gonna call it quits on this one. I just dropped that frame and I shouldn't have. Trying to keep them as docile as possible. So we're gonna go ahead and just slide these things back over where they were. I didn't see the queen. I didn't look for the queen. Not in this one, at least. Okay. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to pop. Yeah, I just riled them up. Ah. Made a sudden movement they did not like. Yep. So they're a little riled up. My fault. I have to move real quiet with these things. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and put the cover on, try to get them to calm down a little bit. I'm going to, I'm going to look at that bottom, bottom box. I want to see what's going on. Because if we get brood down there too, cat brood down there, then we definitely want to use this as a split. Okay. Lots of bees uh, down here. I'm going to go ahead and pull out the appy bar. So the nest was on three, four, and five on the previous one. Let me see if we get positions. Oh yeah. The nest was on three, four, and five from the left on the top one. So I'm assuming if there is any down below, it's more or less right below. Them. one is a little bit of food and that's it a little bit of food and that's it let's see what we got here so there's one from the left again food nothing else and this is on the three from the left pollen and uh, nectar that they've been bringing in. Nothing here. And we have brood. So that queen has been down below as well. So as you can see all that, we've got a bunch of cat brood, other stages of development around it. So we've got a total of four frames so far. Looks like another small queen cell. Oh, there's the queen right there. I don't know if you can see her or not, but she is right there. There she is all by herself. We're gonna go ahead and put her right back down in here. Being careful not to pinch her. So she's been doing pretty good. So now we've got four, four pretty much full frames of brood here. And look at this. Brood, we got drone down here. Lots of pollen being brought in. Cat brood over here. So there's five frames that we have. So we can actually take all of our splits, as far as I'm concerned, from this one hive. And I think that's what I might do. Oh, so there's a little young nurse bee. And again, we've got food, nothing else. They're just cleaning it out. Same thing over here. They've got a bunch of pollen, nothing else. So. That queen has been busy. So let's go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and do this and 
Oh, pretty good. I'm not going to pinch that queen because she's been doing really, really good. She's a two-year... This is her second year. And so we want to... Probably we'll look at uh, requeening later this summer. I try to... I w I'd like to requeen about every two years. In the third year, no later than in the third year. Um, just trying to keep some those queens young and vibrant and keep them... Uh, you know, producing just as, just as, t as uh, well as they can. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back up here. So the queen has moved back downstairs. That means this top one is, uh, I really wish I had some queens today, but I don't, so we'll have to do with what we've got. I'm gonna have to bring some more pollen down as well. So we are right where we want to be. I'm loving this really really happy so this one queen this one hive I think I'm gonna go ahead and order my Queens today they'll be here Wednesday Thursday and the weather's supposed to be fairly good uh, we'll do our splits yeah we'll do our splits and then uh, go from there but uh, let me uh, let me seal this up and then I'll, I'll be right back okay so I just finished uh, doing I did go into every one of my hives and uh, but basically all I did was uh, pulled out the uh, apivar strips and uh, Just did an assessment on a couple of them. My, my Saskatchewan one here uh, is doing really good That's one that I'm targeting to be a queen cell uh, queen builder for later in the year and that carny uh, Right there is another one doing really well. The only one that I'm really Nervous about and I think they're still trying to requeen is that one down on the very end uh, I think I lost the queen, and uh, they're very irritable, been very irritable. Um, the last time I went through them all, I didn't bother trying to get in all the way. Not not because they were irritable, I just didn't want to spend the time today. But uh, um, I didn't really see any signs of queen back, oh, three weeks ago. Uh, and I saw one cup there, but there was nothing in it. So um, what I'm going to do is... is uh, Go circle back around later this week and, and just focus strictly on that one and see what's going on All right, so I uh, I mentioned earlier that I'm getting ready to do some splits And uh, that was a whole primary purpose for me getting into the hives to begin with and uh, based on what I saw I'm really really happy. I thought I was gonna have to wait another week or two, but I'm, I'm not going to uh, We got some fairly good weather this next week. I think I think it will align with uh, when the bees uh, will get here if I do overnight shipping and so what I'm doing is I'm, I'm down here in the barn getting ready because I'm going to split them into five frame nukes and so I've got uh, four initially but I might go ahead and just do five uh, so order five queens and assume they all show up and and uh, and then go from there so I've got the five frame nukes and then I've got the four frame uh, the uh, excuse me the, uh, the the mediums that's going to go on top of those those will spend uh, you know a month or so building up, and uh, oops, sorry, and then uh, we'll go ahead and put the the honey super queen excluder, and then the uh, we'll push those hives together two two at a time, two, you know side by side, and then put a queen excluder, so that we basically have two queens, and then we'll put the twelve frame uh, medium supers on top of each of those, so we've got enough for two two honey supers on top of. Um, a deep and, and a medium so uh, let me get down here so you can see so that's that's what we're looking at and uh, I think we're gonna have a good year these these ones are gonna be the only ones staying in this particular yard everything else is gonna go to different yards which we need to hurry up and get these hives where they're going uh, because what I want to do I want to get them in place before I start trying to uh, get too far into the build-up season so I, I want to transport them as a single box, not a double box. Uh, transporting double boxes are a pain in the butt, uh, at least with my setup. So uh, we want to transport them, get them situated, let them sit there for a few days, and then uh, start working on the buildup where temporarily they will move to a double box. And, you know, and, and they'll stay in a double box right up until you know, a week or two before the honey flow. And then we'll push that queen back down into the bottom, put a queen excluder on it, any brood or anything that's up on top, uh, as that hatches out, they'll go ahead and just start packing the honey in. That, that should coincide with the honey season. And so they'll, they'll use the ups above that queen excluder as their primary honey store, and everything down below will be 
you know, six, seven, eight frames of, of brood going at all times. Uh, that's how we did it last year, and it worked out wonderful. Uh, had, had really good luck with it overall. So anyways, that's, that's where we're set up, and uh, everything else is just, we've got our 10 frames deeps ready to go. Those all have uh, either drawn or, or uh, blank comb, uh, excuse me, foundation ready to go. We've got seven. I only need six, but I got seven. I've got my other honey supers that um, we're going to use them this year, but we're going to slowly move away and, and go to just primarily, primarily deeps. Um, I'll, I'll keep a few mediums and shallows, but uh, uh, I'm trying to streamline my operation. Um, the downside of going to deeps is I'm going to have to get some type of a hydraulic lift or something because those boxes are heavy when they're full. So, but anyways, uh, yeah, thanks again for watching and uh, really appreciate it. Uh, good Lord willing, in the, uh, the creek don't rise, all this corona nonsense will clear up here over the next few weeks for most of us. Some, some of you guys are going to be struggling for a while, but you know, a lot of us are sitting a lot better than, than some of you. So hopefully, hopefully some of us will get back to normal and you know, God willing, the rest of you will as well. So stay safe. Uh, you know, don't let it control your life, but, but practice good social distancing, you know, take precautions. You know, it's, it's better that, that we get out of this alive and safe than, uh, you know, the, the alternative. Uh, but anyways, uh, talk to you next time. Thanks.